Hi, welcome to Mid by Midwest. We're gonna make a cocktail today that we found on one of our cruises with Norwegian Cruise Lines. Uh, one of the things we like to do when we get back home is kind of look up those cocktail recipes and that way we can reproduce them here and kind of uh, have a little mini vacation um, at our own place as well. Uh, for this one, it's called a Spicy Passion Mojito. And what it, uh, what it turned us on to is this Ancho Reyes liqueur, which is like a slightly spicy, a little bit smoky liqueur. So if you like any of those uh, cocktails that have a little bit of a spicy quality to them, this is a great thing to have uh, in your cabinet. Uh, so to start, we're gonna use just a little bit of that. We're gonna use a shaker today. You can also mix this in a glass. We're gonna use a little bit of this Ancho Reyes. And it also comes in like a non-smoked version. We have not tried that yet, so I cannot speak to what that's like. But it has a nice, yeah, it's a, it's a very smoky uh, flavor profile. So it's just a little bit of the Ancho Reyes uh, and it's half an ounce of simple syrup. We're going to use agave because that's what we keep on hand. It's one and a quarter ounces of white rum. And something else that we never kept on hand before, <laughs> but uh, do buy every once in a while now, is uh, a passion fruit puree. This is uh, sometimes you see them in the store called a nectar. Um, we found a couple different recipes for this online, where some of them used uh, the puree, and some of them used a passion fruit liqueur. Um, the uh, <laughs> the the liqueur we have not sprung for yet, so I'm just looking for. I think an ounce of this. I think that proportions are different if you're using the liqueur. So with that, I'm gonna put some ice in here. To that, we're gonna juice half of a lime right into the shaker. and then shake it up. Put a little more ice in the glass. If you have crushed ice, now's the time to use it. So the taste has some balance. You have the sweetness of the passion fruit, which is really sweet. You have a little bit of the tart from the lime, you have that little bit of heat from the ancho reyes. Uh, so it's got a nice, interesting profile. It isn't just kind of sweet and tropical. It's got some balance and depth to it. Um, I hope you like this. The recipe is down below. Uh, you can like and follow and share, and we'll post some more stuff.